Just love and affection, no pressure or pain. Show you the real, but that's if you can hang. You're so sweet, so cute, so fresh, so clean. Your attitude is the way you do your thing. While we do it. Bosphorus Bridge. It's a two hour walk from my hostel. Cheers, White House again. I didn't record the donuts I just ate, but it had like that crunch on the outside, but a really soft, like fluffy, almost non existent inside. It was like churro on the outside, Krispy Kreme donut on the inside. Ooh, oh shit. That's what it was. It was delicious. And I'm someone who's a sucker for texture. It's crowded out here. It's crowded out here. It's probably. And then I also got 20 liter worth of olives. I got this and some pink ones inside my bag. Hold on. I don't know what they did to this olive or what kind of olive it is. I mean, obviously they grilled it, right? But they did something else to it. These olives taste like pepperonis. These are just so fine. Really the only reason I got the pink ones was because the purple ones were way too salty. Like I couldn't get with it. And the pink ones were like bearable for me to eat. So I got the pink ones because I've never seen pink or purple olives before. I thought they were gonna be sweet. And when I found out that they weren't, I was like, oh shit. But yeah, gonna continue on this walk y'all. And when we get to the Bosphorus Bridge, I'll come back. Oh shit, what? Y'all. Okay, <laughs> you see where I'm at? Right. Google Maps is a send off. Like, real life. This is what Google led me to. Oh, hell to the mall. You see this? This is what it led me to. Now, look at what it led me to. It's snails all up on these little thing of things here. I do not fuck with snails. I'm so fucking scared. I just don't fuck with snails. And they was over here heavy, like. Get my hands back over here. Oh shit. I literally put my foot where you see that little ledge right there on the edge of the trash can. I put my foot right there to get up here because it literally, like, the dot was right here. And then the little gate is like, oh shit. The little gate is like down or whatever. And the trash cans are here as if motherfuckers use this way all the time. And I'm like, shit, the spot is on Google. Hold on, I'm gonna sit y'all down. Ugh. <sighs> anyway, that is what Google Maps led me to. I mean, maybe I'm late to finding out. Hold on, let me, let me do a snail check because I swear this one on me. Like, I do not fuck with snails. Like, I just don't. <gasps> what is that? Oh, okay. Oh my God. This why I typically stay my ass in the bed. Well, I don't stay in the bed because I always get up out the bed at least once to go eat. So yeah, that walk usually leads me into doing other things like shopping or going to the park or getting dessert or anything. Oh my God, wait, okay. Yeah, I don't wanna take no more money out of my account, but I'm probably gonna have to because I'm down to my last 10 lira and 10 lira is like a dollar. So I'm down to my last dollar. <laughs> we'll see what we come across. Oh, my bottle of wine. That's what I need to get. Okay. I got more of the donut thingies I was telling y'all about before. I woke up in a fantastic mood and ended up going shopping. And this is everything that I've got. And I want to show you guys this, even though technically you could see a lot of it on my Instagram. If you go to my Instagram, you will literally see it. Um, everything that I got in here in my little turkey bubble. Of course, my Instagram will be in the description box. I got this super cute purse. I just love the handle of it. It's small. It's tiny. Bag. It's really cute. Again, something. I just really like the pattern. Back in the day, you know how princesses dress? 
this is cute as fuck and it's comfortable like it's light it's free flowing i feel like a woman like this is cute as fuck and i feel like i'm dressed when i put them on i feel like a princess a sucker for ruffles i love ruffles so much a quick little haul for you oh i'm like wow this is what i've been wanting in my closet i feel like all my life love that for me i got my line guys yum it's some syrah this is basically my dinner this was 30 lira which was like it's like three four dollars i got this big ass thing of cherries i don't know if you can really tell how big this thing is but it's a big ass thing of cherries 20 lira which is like two dollars two three dollars cherries are probably my favorite fruit cherries dragon fruit and grapes i do have water okay drink your water the clothes that i came with i'm going to you know leave some of those clothes here to make room for my new clothes every time i go on these treks backpacking i always bring things that are like i wouldn't really care if they were you know if they were to get dirty or ripped or anything like that yeah that's all. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my night now. I hope you guys got all the footage in Turkey that you possibly could enjoy. <laughs> Bye. All right, guys. So I'm not really too sure what's happening right now, if I'm being honest. Um, it is the morning of the 4th. It's June 4th. And I'm on my way to the airport. I'm leaving Turkey. Yeah, we're on a boat. I think we're about to take ferry to get to the airport quicker. I think that's what we're about to do. And there's the taxi now. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> that's my taxi driver. Um, I just ordered it through Uber. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I just ordered a regular, the cheapest one through Uber. Oh, we're going. currently in the security line he put me on that ferry trying to get some extra money out of me that's really what it was my flight is at 9 45 i didn't get here until 8 like 30. for international flights you have to be here an hour before or they close that shit they have like the little machines where you can check in now in the states normally if you have an international flight they're not gonna let you check in on the little machines here they gave me my boarding pass on the little machine i could not believe that shit. it literally it blew my mind i wanted to break down in tears because i was like the first of all the line for like the people at the desk was outrageous and it was like i'm gonna miss this fight but i didn't i got my ticket feisty i'm currently in germany okay cologne germany to be exact it's probably not how you actually pronounce it but that's how it's spelled cologne germany i just finished eating me a snack um because they have a grocery store in here i told myself that i was just going to drink water today because i feel like i need to flush my system i don't know i just feel like i was looking in the mirror this morning and it's like my stomach is like ugh. and it's like i don't know where that's coming from like there's stuff in there that needs to come out <sighs> why did my life flash before my eyes so <sighs> y'all remember them pink fucking olives right okay so i must have woke up the next day and my pee was pink now my pee was pink and when i first saw it i was like oh yeah that's just the red wine i don't know what made me say that like i don't know what made me say red wine because i've drank red wine plenty of times before and it's never turned my pee pink but whatever so today i go to use the bathroom again my pee is pink all day today <laughs> all day today my pee has been pink in the travelers, you have to wear a face mask. Please maintain sufficient safety distance and wash and disinfect your hands frequently. Further information can be found on our displays at flights. Thank you for your cooperation.
<clears throat> so anyway i just started thinking about the fact that maybe it just makes no sense like I, i'm like i've had cherries before i've had red wine before it's never turned my pee pink because i've been drinking water oh, why can y'all see that you can't see it i don't understand this water so i'm like i'm pressing clear pee but it's tinted pink i've never had pink pee like oh wait i'm scared and then i start thinking because you know i'm something like a hypochondriac just a little bit like <sighs> google will convince you you will die tomorrow with no hesitation it wants you so badly to believe you have 30 days to live google was trying to convince me i had kidney disease y'all <sighs> my life flashed before my eyes i was like damn not that I might have kidney disease. I'm gonna die at like 50. And then I remembered, I remembered I was like, fuck those damn pink olives. And I've never had pink fucking olives. And I was throwing them bitches back. So yeah. But I realize now that I'm actually okay. So that's good.